What's up, folks? We're back on Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, well, it's kind of a slow start to Memorial Day weekend. I'll be honest with you. It's overcast. It's cold. Had a guide trip this morning, and uh, it was, uh, it was, it was colder than I expected. But I know that the weather's going to be getting better, and by the time you're seeing this video on Sunday, it will be beautiful. A couple things I want to touch on right off the bat: sniping braid braids all of them does not matter which weight if you haven't tried these you need to the opportunity is now 10.99 for any size that you guys want on the website three pound fishing or snipingbraid.com you need to check it out you will not get a braid that inexpensive again and they're awesome all of the weights the other thing i had a lot of great feedback on the uh let's go fishing packs has every size that you could want jig wise and it comes with some plastics those are back in stock i wanted to touch on that and then lastly memorial day weekend baby we got pro packs i had people requesting packs of at least 50 of these paddle tails so i went ahead and made up packs of 50 of the paddle tails these are the monkey milk right there if you haven't seen the paddle tail freaking awesome this is the new blue milk this thing is killer that's what i'll be using a lot today on this video uh, but they're packs of 50 and you can get those at threepoundfishing.com that's all i'm going to talk about there in terms of products we're going to catch some fish on memorial day weekend it is memorial day weekend, literally and um it's friday right you know you're going to see this in two days and um anyway things are going great guide service got some cool stuff coming up i can't wait to share it with you but regardless uh let's put some fish in the boat Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Before we start getting getting started, I want you guys to see, can you see that in there? That's freaking awesome. My lake has about four foot of visibility. And uh, right now it's pretty clear. So we're gonna head to our spot, catch some big fish and uh, get this weekend uh, started. Right, I'm excited, it's a good day. I love, I love holiday weekends. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a hair jig. Um, I love fishing with hair jigs, and uh, I think gumdrop is gonna be the call. And for those that are just joining three pound fishing, I've got an 86, 16 inch monitor right here. I'm a big fan of my three pound fishing elite series, although this is not one of them. This is actually one of the first rods I ever got from Ozark Rods, and it just happens to have the almighty gumdrop on it. So I'm a big fan of 10 footers. Even today's guide trip, he was questioning, why do you like 10 footers so much? And at the end of the guide trip, he fell in love with the 10 footer. I do a 10 footer because I feel like I can I feel like I can pitch to it. I feel like I can drop relatively far enough away from the, the boat. I also can cast to it. Um, I think that everybody's gonna have their preference. There's certainly no right or wrong. But for me, a 10 footer is the smallest rod that I, I feel comfortable with. And I've tried the sevens and all that other stuff, but right now the 10 is my sweet spot. And Gumdrop is about to get hammered by some crappie. Check this out, folks. Look at these guys right here. Right there. See them? Look at those guys. Look at those guys. We're taking those guys home. No, we're not. We always throw our fish back, always. Unless mama says otherwise. I'm actually gonna be doing a bluegill video this weekend. So I have a couple guy trips on this weekend for Memorial Day, which is going to be fun. But after those guy trips, I'm going to be going bluegill fishing. I'm excited about that. So. Second drop. That wasn't that hard, I'm telling you. People question the size of jigs that I use. I always use, for the most part, unless I go to Grenada or Darbone, I use a 1 but a 32nd ounce jig always, always is great on my home lake. So 
So I'm pitching out to those fish are about 22 feet out and I'm letting it sink down. Now they're deep. These, this, this, these particular fish are down there at, at uh, 15 feet, which is deeper than normal, but they are where they're at. Oh, look at this. Come on now, folks. Come on now, folks. That's a better fish. Don't get away. Don't get away. We need you. Look at that. That's good fish. That's what we need right there, folks. Live well full of them, but you know, we're giving them back. We're giving them back. The hair jigs are crushing it. I ain't gonna lie, hair jigs are crushing it. But let me show you, let me walk you through some of my jigs real quick. Just to have fun with, just so I can show you. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the jigs real quick because I want you guys to see what we have now and what's about to come, all right? So these are other colors. This is, this is a 1 16th ounce jig right here, okay? I use those on Grenada, Darbone, basically even Rin Lake I'll use those on, bigger ones. Smaller lakes like my mine right here, they tend to like the 1 32nd ounce jig a lot better. Now, things that are coming, um, one eighth ounce jigs are coming um, and also we have a new bubble gum pink coming so this is the current pink right here we will probably rename it or we'll keep it as pink and we'll call the other one just bubble gum pink it's a much more pastel kind of pink that i think people are used to but still love them use them all the time that's actually what is on the uh the gum drop that we're using right now this pink right here is what i'm using that jig right there is on all of the uh, hair jigs well, that style of jig. So anyway, a little bit about jig. Let's catch some fish. <laughs> we've kind of changed locations and we've kind of changed tactics right now. Um, fishing some structure I'll show you what I'm fishing here and we also changed baits we changed to that blue monkey that is in that pro pack of 50 and I'm gonna show you that as well get it either size that's that blue monkey right there and I'll show you this this tree here so there's not a lot of fish on it but sometimes They'll just lay right on it. Like I'm looking at that guy. There might be two fish right there, it looks like. But they'll just lay straight on it. Sometimes underneath it, you see that guy right there. And all you have to do, all you have to do is bring that bait all the way down that tree limb. And a lot of times they'll come up for it. It'll wake them up when that sucker starts paddling right by them. It's hard to resist a paddle tail. My favorite bait, people ask me all the time. Well, I like paddle tails and I like the hair jigs. But I will use whatever's catching the fish, that's for sure. But I tend to lean towards those two, especially on my home lake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh God. I'll tell you what, the fish just get so active during the fall time. I'm sorry, the fish get so active during the post spawn time, it's crazy. They ain't the biggest fish, they're not the thickest fish. But I'll tell you, they're active and it's a lot of fun. You can catch just a ton of good fish during this period of time. I'm still fishing this limb right here. And uh, I just go down the limbs when I see a little bump and this is a, another limb right here that I haven't, uh, I have it thrown down and I see some marks on it and I just go right down them and we see if we get a taker and that guy didn't take it so we're gonna drop back down again oh <laughs> they usually don't go down for the bait but this one definitely did he was aggressive oh yeah well, look at this guy. Just a, another beautiful day on my home lake. If you're interested in those guide trips, you need to give me a shout at 3poundfishing.com. We're going to end this episode, but before I do, I want to remind you, sniping braid, every size, $10.99. You're not going to get a better deal than that. 
those pro packs awesome the let's go fishing setup is awesome so check those out if you're you know i enjoy them i hope you enjoy them i hope you have a great holiday i mean folks hopefully most of you have the day off tomorrow to enjoy it um i appreciate everybody and uh please subscribe have a great one you guys thanks thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies